Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew, and I'm uh, going to have another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video real quick. I uh, had a, um, someone in the comment section asked me about um, how to import images uh, inside uh, the frames of your comic book. So, but before I get into that, uh, I would like to remind everybody that yes, I have a comic book out. It's um, a 30-page uh, black and white, or actually 29 pages of black and white story uh, about a uh, two students that arrive uh, to high school late one day, and they discover their school is infested with zombie-like uh, creatures, and so they kind of have to survive through that. So um, I currently have it for sale for a dollar uh, at Comics Central. That's comics with an X in central.com. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get that book if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. Again, it's only a dollar um, and you get 29 pages of uh, story. Um, and hopefully you guys will like it. So uh, let's go into Clip Studio Paint. And so... Again, uh, the question uh, this uh, user had was um, he wanted to create uh, frames in Clip Studio Paint. Um, so pretty much a comic book layout. And then he was going to import images. And um, my guess is that he wanted to uh, import the images directly into the frame uh, to make it easy. Uh, my guess is for not cropping the image or, or what have you. So uh, that is actually very, very simple. Okay, so um, we start off with, of course, a, a blank uh, template or a blank canvas here. And so what you want to do is come here to uh, your frame tool. Uh, you might see it as uh, a line. Uh, this is the uh, tool here. You click on this little line and you come up here to the sub tools. You click, you click the frame. And um, for this example, I'm just going to make some rectangular frames. But I have a video where it uh, explains uh, the various different types of frames you can actually create. And so, but for this example, like I said, we're going to do uh, rectangular frames. We're going to use 20. Uh, the, the border of the frame is going to be uh, 20 pixels. Uh, I believe that's pixels. And so um, we're just going to create some frames here. I'm just going to at random here and again uh, I have a video I'll link it in the description of uh, how you can make frames but I'm just making these uh, frames here okay so when you uh, create your frames um, in Clip Studio Paint you'll notice that these little um, folder like uh, things appear and so if you expand them uh, underneath each of these frames you'll see a a blank uh, raster layer and uh, that raster layer only exists in this in this particular frame the one that's highlighted here white um, anything you draw on that raster layer raster layer will only exist in this side of this frame so anything else just simply becomes uh, importing so if you're not familiar with importing images into Clip Studio Paint, I'll show you that here. So I'm just going to click this first frame here, the first one I created. Uh, you can see they're kind of out of order. You can, of course, always uh, drag it uh, and put it in order, in any order you want. So the first thing you want to do is uh, click the blank uh, raster layer. And then uh, you come up here to File. And you go Import uh, Image. And so uh, wherever you have your uh, image stored in your computer, and, um, that's where um, it's going to dump it. So um, I have uh, various JPEGs here of drawings I've, I've made. So I'm just going to pick this random one here. Now, what you'll see is this uh, highlight here. That's the image. That's the actual image. But you can see it kind of cuts off here. Um, what you do is you uh, click it, the image. Now, if you don't see this uh uh, traced square here um, you can come over here to this uh, tool navigation where it's like a 3d box and click that and it should give you the navigation so I'm just gonna hover my mouse or my 
Wacom Pen. And so you can see you can move um, the image anywhere inside the frame. Um, and of course, anything uh, outside the frame will then um, will not show. Anything in the purple area will not show uh, because it's being masked. So uh, nothing. And of course, you can always uh, resize your image to uh, whatever whatever you want. Uh, there are also uh, tools over here on the side where it says image setting editing on the left side here you could inverse the uh, image you can uh, turn it upside down um, you can of course uh, scale it right now uh, by default it says uh, clip ratio of original image so when you scale uh, one side it'll scale the other side so everything stays uh, in ratio you can uncheck that keep ratio of original you can uncheck it and then you can uh, manipulate the image um, one one side at a time height and length uh, separately um, and if uh, you happen to do that and you mess up uh, know that you can come here to this uh, what looks like a little star it says uh, uh, reset the image uh, so when you hit that it goes um, to its original size and location so you can always do that so you can start over if you mess up yeah, so we're just gonna move that here and so uh, when you're done with that you can just close that folder and then move on to the next one and then do the same process so you'll go to file import image uh, let me just pick another uh, JPEG that I have here at random. So here it is. Uh, remember again, if you don't see it, um, you can just uh, click that little 3D box here and uh, you should be able to see it. Oh, I'm down here at the bottom. Um, now say you imported the image into this frame, but um, you wanted it actually to be in this second frame up here. So no problem. You just find that uh, folder. You can see that it's there and what you do is you grab that image that raster uh, layer image that you imported and you just drag it into the uh, other folder now you can see that it, uh, it's in the blue and the purple area so it's under the mask so just move it up and you can see that uh, it's kind of kind of wide it's not fitting in there so you can again uh, take away that ratio and then you can uh, shrink it down to size. So um, I hope that answers the question uh, of that uh, person who left the comment in my video. Um, and if you guys have uh, any other questions that uh, you need help in Clip Studio Paint, I'll try to uh, find an answer for you. And uh, if I can, I'll, I'll make a video. And um, so I hope this helps. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if uh, you found it useful. Uh, share it on social media or whatever. And uh, uh, again, let me just plug my comic book. Uh, again, it's in uh, Comics Central. Comics with an X. Uh, and it's called Swarm. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so if you want to check it out, it's only a dollar. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.